What you just saw was a seven-man section taking out the bad guys in confined rooms no bigger than a three-room flat. It takes precision, accuracy and more importantly, good judgement to make the split-second decision. And training for that split-second decision starts here. The Urban Operations live firing range can be reconfigured to allow soldiers to train in different scenarios and multiple room layouts. In this range, you get um, much more rooms to play with and you can practice your situation awareness and how you um, react in situation and also uh, you get to manoeuvre your, your section throughout the whole place and it gives you a lot of opportunity to use your urban ops capability and all the equipments that is meant for urban ops. And judgmental training allows soldiers to think on their feet and react fast. Now we have a friend foot target, okay, whereby at the same time give you a reflection and make you think okay, whether you want to shoot or not to shoot. This unique range is part of the Singapore Armed Forces' latest indoor live firing training facility at Pasilaba and one of a kind in the world. The multi-mission range complex has seven ranges under one roof. On the outside, it's sleek and linear, but once inside, the bright glassy hues give way to dark tones and a high-tech feel. I feel as though I'm on the film set of the latest Batman movie with all the cool gadgets and stuff. That's fictional. This isn't. The screens you see here display the targets and are able to self-seal after every shot. So we actually shoot at the screen. We shoot actually. And like a simulator where you just... You know. Correct. So everything here is live and it just goes through the screen. Uh, this rubber actually self-heals in a way. Self-heals? Yeah. Oh, okay. So when the round goes through, because the projector is hot enough, yeah. when the it goes through the rubber, yeah. the rubber melts mm -hmm. and then it covers back with the 12.7mm uh, mm -hmm. calibre rounds okay. and this is all the damage that is left. Yes. It's definitely less than the 3, 3 mm yeah, or 2mm. The yeah. hole is so small compared to the, the actual calibre of the round. Yeah. 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 So then on the other one, you have uh, the 5.56mm, mm, your standard SAR-21 rounds that we use. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, the hole that is left behind is far smaller than yeah. what you expect from uh, 5.56 mm round. The ballistic protection that we use in MMRC is something called shredded rubber panels, or SRP for short. It shows that the rounds are embedded inside. Mm -hmm. So behind this SRP, there's a steel plate mm -hmm. to ensure that the round shatters and remains within inside. The floor, again, the same way, the same material, uh, SRP. Uh, it looks slightly different, but essentially it's the same material. So at no time will the projectile come back towards the soldier or any of the conducting staff. So that's, what, that's one of the key ways that we ensure that our soldiers are safe within an indoor range. I'm at one of two 50-metre ranges at the multi-mission range complex. It's not just any shooting range. It has some pretty nifty technology behind it, and I'm going to find out more. Virus, hold time, hold target, carry on. The range uses a unique video targetry system that provides soldiers with tough and realistic scenario-based training. And I get up to take out some bad guys myself. Excellent shooting. Uh. Really? Uh? Yeah. <laughs> I think we'll soon deploy you to the front lines. <laughs> no, actually, while going through that, that whole process, right, mm -hmm. I didn't know what was coming out 
Yeah. yeah. I didn't know what to expect. There yeah. were little rooms and all that. So yeah. it was a bit uh, swami spectating, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you, you can see now that the scenarios are a lot, add a lot more dynamism to to a soldier. Okay. Uh, essentially, it's no longer when the target pops up, he knows he has to shoot it. Mm -hmm. So now he allow it allows him to um, rehearse as well as to practice some of his uh, rules of engagement before he's actually deployed. So last time, like I mentioned, in the battle ranges, when a target comes up, it's all about hitting, squeeze the trigger. Yes. Yeah. But now I think there are a lot more different levels. Um, first of all, the soldier needs to discern whether it's a friend or foe, because mm -hmm. we have both in the scenario. Yeah. And then having decided that it's a, it's a foe, yeah. he needs to know where to hit it. So do we want to shoot to kill, or is it shoot to injure? Type of type, type of shooting. Okay. So you yeah. can actually escalate the scenario. Exactly. The, do it in the process itself in, in the firing. Yes. While it's firing, we can escalate it uh, using the uh, individual uh, computers. Okay. Uh, but even for each individual enemy that he sees, mm -hmm. all this has to go through his mind. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we still uh, require the soldier to then, of course, be accurate mm -hmm. to land the round where exactly he intended it to be. So you know, lest we forget, all this needs to happen within the split second, the one or two seconds, mm -hmm. and it better. We rather have it here in a peacetime training environment rather than when the soldier goes out for operations. Tune in next week as we look at more interesting features of this cool complex.